Hey, what's up guys? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. If you're new to the channel, we're glad you're here. If you want, uh, if you like what you see, uh, please hit that subscribe button and stick around. We've got a lot of cool things going on. So I just got off of work. I had to go in and work super early this morning. And got home, it's about lunchtime, and we're supposed to get some really bad storms this afternoon. Hail, high winds. So I figured I'd come down and just do a quick check on the animals, make sure they have enough feed and water and all that stuff. So check on the pig real quick. He's looking good. He's getting big too. He's got enough water to get him through. What are you doing, Squishy? Starting to root a little bit more. Now he's getting bigger. Got plenty of feed. Here are the silkies over there. I can see they got feed. Check on the big chickens. Oh yeah, they got some feed. Got water. Oh yeah. The garden is looking good. And that's a good thing. I'll tell you why. Because a few days ago, we had some crazy cold temperatures for this time of year moving in North Texas. And everything looks pretty good. But we, we, we were out here we had to cover everything with buckets, cover stuff with tarps, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna roll that video now and show y'all what all we had to do. The boys are playing cops and robbers. Tell them what we're doing. Texas decided to get crazy on us. April 20th and we're expecting a hard freeze tonight. April 20th. It's ridiculous. So we're covering our plants that we have in the ground because that's what happens every single time we put plants in the ground, it seems like. We waited till well after, e I mean, this is well after Easter. Yeah. So. No, we shouldn't be having a freeze right now. No. It, it, the, it's a crazy time. the record low for today in DFW is like, like 39. Yeah, and I tonight. think they were saying like, Hard freeze, like yeah, below the, 30. They said they said that some of the northwest of the metroplex get down to the upper 20s, which is where we're at. It's a bunch of baloney. So luckily, with our taxidermy business, we have plenty of buckets. So yes, and we're gonna try to get tarps over the potato plants and just hope for the best. That's all we can do. Yeah, I don't want to lose the potatoes. I'll be upset about that. No, I will be too. But we'll get them covered. It'll be fine. All right. It'll be fine. So Shanna plugged in the chickens, the Silkies, a uh, little heat pad. We need to do a review on that. Yeah. We've had really good luck with that thing. Yeah. It kept the Silkies alive during that super cold weather we had. And then we plugged the pig's heat lamp in. The big chickens have never had anything for heat. The pig probably doesn't need it. He's big enough now, but um, it won't hurt anything. So um, We're going to put... The babies are in the shop, yeah. so we're going to start a electric heater. Yeah, we have the heat lamp on them, but yes. we're going to turn a actual little electric heater on in there in that corner where they're at to help them. So if it gets down to you know upper 20s tonight, that's that's cold. Yeah. So yeah. all right, now we're going to cover up all the plants. It's kind of windy. We're still worried that the buckets may blow over and break the plants off. But at this point, we don't have enough rocks or anything to put on top of them, so we're going to just Hope make it work. Best. Yeah. Well guys, we did the best we could. It's a good thing, like I said, we have all these buckets for our taxidermy business because I don't know what we would do if we didn't have this, have all of them. We got all our potatoes covered, some of our corn covered. There's some popping up here we don't have any more tarps for, so. Um, got the tomato, or the potatoes in the back corner covered. So, we'll see. Hopefully they make it. 
Shan and I were in the house um, working on another video that we're doing. Uh, we just got done covering all the plants with buckets and we heard the boys out here. They've been playing in the backyard really well tonight and we heard them out here and it's it's got to be 52, somewhere around there, low, upper 40s, low 50s. We look out here and this is what they're doing. So there's the buckets because it's supposed to freeze tonight. And they're in the pool. We're gonna, I'm gonna swim tomorrow. <clears throat> That's crazy stuff, right? So that next morning when I got up to go to work, I mean, I had a thick, thick layer of frost on, on the window of my work van. And I'm, I'm very happy and thankful that we went ahead and took the, did the extra work of, um, of covering everything up i think it if we hadn't we'd have lost it i see one thing out there that's kind of concerning me one of our potato plants looks a little a little rough i don't know what do y'all think this one right here looks quite a bit different than that one it's uh droopy leaves and i don't know This time will tell. Our dang strawberries, we have the, watch out Skyler, we have the worst luck with strawberries and this year is no exception. Got to get some of that diatomaceous earth and put around there because we got, um, or some of that ant poison, but we got ants right there. So guys, the title of this video is about Amazon and you won't believe what they're doing. I want to share something with y'all. So as a family um, on our homestead, we have made a commitment, my wife and I, to try to be frugal in a lot of things. And so for us, saving money and investing uh, so that we can leave a legacy for our kids is very important. And so when we find a way to save money, um, a good way, we're all about it. So what Amazon is doing is they have a program called Amazon Renewed. And if you're not familiar with this uh, and you go on it, if you do any shopping on Amazon, you really need to check it out. So what it is, is, is Amazon has all a, a whole array of things that, they're, that are refurbished that they offer at a discounted price. And it comes with a 90 day money back guarantee. And we have saved a significant amount of money buying things off there, specifically electronics. So my wife and I both have uh, Samsung Galaxy S9s. We bought them on Amazon, on Amazon Renewed, and we got them, I would say a third of what they would cost brand new. We both have had the phones for shoot, probably a year now eight months to a year, they're working great. We bought my daughter's iPhone 11 off of there. Same thing, probably, I mean, we saved several hundred dollars um, on it. Uh, she's had it for, I, I, I wanna say over a year now and zero problems with it. So then my laptop a few months ago quit working, had a lot of issues with it and so I did a lot of research and ended up buying a laptop. Um, just kind of narrowed down what laptop I wanted. I went on Amazon Renewed and they had it. And it was, I, I want to say I saved about $600 buying it off of Amazon Renewed. It, I've had it for a few months now, several months now, and it's working fine. No issues at all. All of the things we bought, the phones, the laptop, there was minimal evidence that it had been used before. A tiny scratch on uh, one of the phone screens, the laptop, uh, nothing. You could, I mean, it looked like it came out of the box brand new. Um, the batteries on all, everything stays charged just like it was brand new. My daughter's iPhone, uh, it, you cannot tell that it, when it came in the package, you would have thought it was brand new. You could sit it's still brand new one and you could have told, told the difference. So, 
we just want to share that with y'all. Um, hopefully that helps. Uh, leave, leave your story in the comment if you've used Amazon Renewed, if you've had good luck. I like the 90 day uh, money back guarantee because it, I, most of the time if you're if it's gonna not work, it's gonna not work pretty quick. So that gives you 90 days to make sure that you like it. And if you don't like it, you just package it up and send it back to them. And I've dealt with returns through Amazon before and it's always been super, super easy. So I'm all about mom and pop shops too, but this is a big company and they're doing something right and I wanted to share that with y'all. So go check it out. Leave us your, uh, leave some comments. Let us know um, if you've tried it, what your experience has been. We'd really appreciate it. As you can tell, I'm out in the shop. The chicks are behind me. Uh, so we'll check on them real quick. Can't even see the little silky chick underneath them. It's so little. See her down there? There she is. About time for the kids to change their bedding out. So guys, something else that happened this week. Uh, it's kind of cool. We harvested the, the first plant out of our garden to eat. I don't know if you noticed when we were down at the garden, but about half of the uh, onions, the tops were cut off of them. We cut them off for chives. And uh, Reed actually did that. Um, and then Shana used it uh, to garnish a fancy word garnish a uh, food that she was cooking this week so I'll roll that video now gotta go get some dinner out of the garden gotta go get some chives for whatever I have for dinner hopefully it's potato soup but can't always guarantee it I'm gonna show you all this I gotta open the garden Oh, those look good right there. Just gonna just get them. Good, huh? Thank you, my love. You're welcome, mother. Aw, thanks. What are you making for dinner? Can we get a video? Um, you can video it. It's called crack chicken. Oh, <laughs> it is. Oh no, I fogged it up. See? Hello. <laughs> it's chicken breast. Ranch packet, cream cheese, and then I'm cooking bacon, and you put green onions on top, and cheese. It's like a loaded dip with chicken. Oh. Ish. <laughs> I told Shanna that she should have done a full-blown um, ingredients and how-to on cooking that, well, what it's called is cracked chicken. It is fantastic. I actually had it for my lunch today, um, and, and it is awesome. So if y'all want to, uh, if y'all want to know how to cook it, the ingredients and everything, uh, let us know in the comments, and she would be happy to make a video on it and show y'all the the full thing. But it's it's awesome. It's bacon on top of chicken. It's it's can't go wrong with that. So another cool thing that's going on, as you saw in our last video, we got a hatchmate in the mail. Hatchmate sent us a unit to start hatching if you haven't watched that video icard never know which side icard and go check it out we're really excited to to be on this journey and doing this uh, it's a great unit super user friendly and so let's go inside and i'll show you all what it's doing it's it's uh it's been we've had eggs in there for a few days now and uh we're just kind of at the waiting time now so guys shanna has a towel wrapped around it they recommend that in the instructions um, if, if it helps with uh, holding the heat in so the temperature is right where it needs to be according to the unit 37.9 
and the humidity is at just hit 60 which is I believe it's supposed to be between 50 and 70 so that's perfect we're a few days in on this be looking for a video soon we're gonna candle those eggs that are in there when we hit the right time frame at about eight days and then we'll see if we have um, which eggs are developing and which ones aren't and then um, we'll probably toss out the ones that don't that are not developing and uh, keep going so yeah so guys just want to share that tip with y'all and show y'all some uh, things that we did this week um, like I said in the comments leave us a comment about Amazon what you think about the renewed um, Amazon renewed and, and uh, if you've used it we're really happy with it and uh, it's I can't beat saving money and getting a good product at the same time so guys if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified when we put out new videos thank y'all so much for watching thank you for all the support and we'll see y'all again